wanton destruction of property, loss of life, sporadic uh, looting, ethnic profiling, and use of abusive language in public, all in the name of advancing political interests, must come to an end. To progress as a nation, we must learn to coexist together peacefully and within the confines of respect. The culture of impunity, blatant disregard of the law, and infringement of other people's rights should stop. Appropriate legal action should be taken against leaders that propagate ha hatred, ethnic division, and political violence. Such leaders have no place in a modern society like Kenya. People that participated in com uh, committing atrocities during the just concluded election period should be held to account in accordance with the law. This will start the national healing process in a manner that will enable affected uh, victims to seek justice and restitution. It will also discourage such criminal and backward acts from thriving in the future. The business fraternity has lost billions of shillings during the period of political uncertainty. For instance, foreign investors kept away from investing in the country which led to negative impact on entire economy. Destructive acts such as burning of vehicles, pelting of stones at innocent bystanders and the police not only affected local businesses but also threatened the well-being of innocent Kenyans. It is time for people to understand that political competition does not have to end up in, in violence. Progressive ideas that advance the development agenda of the nation is what Kenyans yearn for, not brawn or empty rhetoric. When people compete for political power, there has to be a winner. Those that don't win always have a chance to try again next time. We always live peacefully until it's an election year. Politicians should take the leading role in promoting peace and development in the country. In doing so, we will make the country better for our children and our children's children.